If you can't kill a boss, no reason why you can't look like one. Moogle putting the wow in transmogs. As we start off as usual with the shoulder, every single transmog video I start off with the shoulders first. I think it's one of the more important pieces. Thorny, Bramble Male, Pauldrons, the Emerald Lightmare, Cenarius drops, those shoulders. Yes, those are Shaman tier set, but this is recolor for Hunters. Warpwind Vest, the Nighthold, Twilight Star Dancer, or the Auction House, either way, 8% on the drop rate. Moving on to the belt, once again, this is part of a Shaman tier, but Creeping string lava, creeping string of lava, yeah, very shaman like. Nithendra drops it out of the Emerald Nightmare, but of course, hunters can equip that belt very easily. The legs, warp wind leggings, Suramar, various mobs, auction house, your choice. Now, the boots are next, and they're looking pretty cool on a worgen, I gotta say. I gotta put this on my new worgen hunter. Uh, warp wind greaves, the night hold. Terrace Groove, uh, basically that's an easy pickup, it really is. Uh, the Gauntlets of the Demented Mine, mine is demented because I've done so many transmogs today, the Nighthold, Great Cloak of the Dark Pantheon, the Burning Throne Mythic, Agrimar, 8% on the drop rate. Moving on, what is going fast to a Lady, Blood Elf, Gilneas Tabard, of course, yeah, why Horde, why Gilneas, doesn't work, I know. I kind of put this stuff out there, for ideas, you guys could always make changes. Malfactor's Eye Pass, Blades, Edge Mountains, Quest Reward. Probably already have it. He'd been playing the game for a while. And the weapon, Crypt Fiend Slayer, Halls of Reflection. Starting off with the shoulder. I always say that. Starting off with the shoulder. Sometimes they're shoulder guards. Sometimes they're shoulder pads. Sometimes they're pauldrons. Nevertheless, always shoulders first. Siege of Ogamar, Garage Hellscreen, 15% on the drop rate. Now we're going to move on to the chest. So keep this in mind. The shoulders, the gloves, the boots, and uh, the belt are all from Siege of Ogamar, Mr. Pandaria. The chest and the legs are from Legion, the Mythhold, or the Mythic Nighthold. <laughs> the Mythhold, it's kind of a version. That's the Mythic version of the Nighthold. Anyway, as I said, the legs... Uh, the Nighthold Mythic Trilix, 8% on the drop rate for the legs. It's also the Eagle Talon leggings, so either way, that's what you get. Now, this is where things look epic, I think. Uh, these look really, really cool on a Worgen. Siege of Ogamar, Iron Juggernaut drops the boots. Um, the cloak there, that cloak is a purple cloak. We'll get to that in a second. Grips of Unending Anguish, Siege of Ogamar, Sun Tender Heart, 14% on the drop rate for the hands. Now, the cloak is basically crafted vanilla level crafting aka leather working and if you don't want to find a leather worker or you're not a leather worker you could always buy it on the auction house should be relatively cheap there is a lookalike that's a quest reward in fellwood by the way uh, head emblazoned uh bionic bifocals and the weapon brutal gladiators longbow from nether storm bc pvp vendor Quite a few people requested more, more, more survival hunter mugs. Well, here's one. Worm Stalker, Spalders, the Dragon Soul, LFR, Hagger of the Stormbinder, 22% on the drop rate for the shoulders. Moving on to the chest, which you really can see behind its abbard. Old Deer Heroic, Zekvaz. What a name. The Chain Vest of Assured Quality. So Zekvaz, quality. I always associate quality with Zekvaz, by the way. The belt, Waste Guard of Interminable Unity, Tumas Argaris Heroic, Priestess Luna Spire, 8% or add one, 9% on the drop rate. The legs, part of the same tier set as the chest out of Uldia Heroic, Talic drops, the laggards of Coalescing Plasma. I am tired of that word, coalescence in any form. Coalescing, coalesced, I'm tired of it. Move on, bring a Shadowland. I might regret that though. Moving on to the hands, Fist of Lightning, Mop Level Leatherworking, check your local leatherworker, check your local auction house for the hands. The back, Cloak of Violent Harmony, kind of redundant, kind of odd, I think. <laughs> odd name. Redundant's not the right word, kind of contrasting. Uh, Tabard of the Argent Crusade, Ice Crown, super easy to get that. The headpiece, Hood of Dispassionate Execution, High Mall Heroic, The Butcher, of course. 
and the weapon is kind of simple. Relentless Gladiator's Pike. All right, I'm loving this set. I really love this set. Uh, Crater Flame, Spalders, the Firelands Rug, Alice Razor, 15% on the drop rate. Worth going there to farm it because you could always get that mount that Alice Razor drops. It's a lookalike of him, sort of. Corroded Valkyr Chainmail, Trial of Valor, Mythic. Hell yeah, is the boss. Kind of a fair drop rate to pick up the chest piece. Now, the belt is part of a shaman tier, obviously creeping string of lava, but that's the recolor that uh, hunters can wear. Nihilotha, Emerald Nightmare, Mythic, 8% on the drop rate. The legs, part of the same drop set as the chest, so leggings of the Undaunted, Trial of Valor, Mythic, Odin, kind of a fair drop rate to get the legs. Moving on to the boots, so keep this in mind, the boots, the gloves, and the shoulders are all from Firelands Heroic. Shannix drops the Treads of Implicit Obedience, 14% on the drop rate, doing the spin, showing the cloak. You can go with a red cloak if you didn't want to go with that kind of maroon one. Uh, Claw Shaper Gauntlets, Firelands Heroic, Alice Razor, 16% on the drop rate for the hands. Next up, we're going to move on to a Lady Blood Elf in the back. Wave Crest Guards Cloak, Drusfar, Order of Embers, Emissary Cash. There is a rare in uh, Drusfar who drops it if you're interested, if you're Horde. Replica Coif of the Five Thunders, Dark Moon Fair, Baruma, 75 Dark Moon tickets for the Wolf Head and the weapon, Black Wing Descent Heroic. Kind of a brown grayish look. Uh, very understated, but I like it. It's the Dreyfall. Oh, I forgot the D, people. Gladiators, Chains, Boulders, Mop PvP Vendor, three marks of honor. You can buy it on the auction house, though, because, yes, there are leather workers who can craft it. The chest, Stratholm, Ramstein, the Gorger, drops it. Or you could buy it on the auction house. Uh, Mimidon's Breastplate is the name. The belt, Waste Guard of Interminable Unity. Tomb of Sargeras Heroic, Priestess Lunaspire, 8% on the drop rate. Keep in mind, set it to Heroic. Moving on to the legs, it's, uh, oh, that's probably the right way to spell it. <laughs> Myrmidon's Leggings, Stratholm. Ramstein the Gorger also drops the legs, or you can buy it on the auction house. The feet, dreadful, uh, dreadful. Oh my god, I did it twice, which meant they copied and pasted it wrong twice. Anyway, you can my PvP vendor. Oh my god, three times. Three. Uh, it takes so much to redo these, so no, not doing it. Uh, Drape of Gluttony is the back. Hellfire Citadel Heroic Gorfine, 5% on the drop rate. Moving on to an undead dude, Keepers of Time Tabard Stormwind. Ogremar, Tabard, Quartermaster, Gold, Exalted for the Tabard. The Headpiece, Malfactors, Eye Patch, Blades Edge Mountains, it's Quest Reward. And the Weapon, Hunt, Master's Longbow, True Shot Lodge, you buy from the vendor there. Well, this is only going to work for Alliance. There might be some variation you could mix and match for Horde. Uh, shoulder Guards of Foul Streams. This is the Siege of Ogremar. Earth Breaker Harem, 12% on the drop rate. The Chest is what I'm talking about. Alliance only. Sinister Asper Inch Chain Armor. Stormsong Valley War Supply Chest and other PvP sources. Eventually, you should be able to get it with Marks of Honor. Moving on to a Worgen here. Laughing Sisters Pouch Chain. Broken Shore Relinquish Girdle. Uh, you get it from a vendor. 650 Veld Argrunite to get the belt. Moving on to the leg, Sinister Aspirants Chain Leggings, Tear Guard Sound, Secret Supply Chest, or any other PvP sources. Basically, uh, either have it or you don't at this point. Eventually, you should be able to buy it for Marks of Honor. Same thing as the feet, same story there. And I think the hands are kind of a copy and paste, similar story. As no, they're not actually. Shadow Moon Burial Grounds, Boma drops the uh, Sharp Eye Gauntlets, kind of a low drop rate. So basically, you got to be Alliance for the chest, the legs, the boots, and I believe the helm. Horde will have a different look, different color, so then maybe you could just kind of switch the color of vari variations on the shoulders and the belt and the hands. Sinister Aspirants, Chain Helm, we talked about this. 
Horde zone, supply chest there. Basically, it's only Alliance. Voice of the Quillen. Throne of Thunder, LFR. You see the boss, 16% drop rate. Thank you for watching. My name is Luxley. I'm going to leave you with a final thought. Whatever it is by you, whether it's morning or it's afternoon like it is here or it's night, make it the best you can. Make it epic.